previously on my channel. Made it on this one. Six hours, 15 minutes later, we made it to London Heathrow. I think it's dehydration. I'm like having heart pumps and I'm not feeling the best. Hello, very good morning from the English countryside. My little girl dreams are all coming true, staying in a castle. Even though I already, uh, can't even talk, even though I already live in the countryside, the English countryside is just blown out of the water. Let's do a little bit of a recap though of part one. We went ahead and non-revved from McGee Tyson where we live up to LaGuardia. We went from LaGuardia over to Newark and then was stressing about flights. You know spring break travel season, the lows completely go to crap. But we were going to originally do the 11.55 p.m. London. It was looking pretty good for purples. And then all of a sudden, everything just changed. So we're like, let's get there or try and attempt to get there earlier. Sat at the gate of the 9.10 p.m. London. And we actually got the last two seats in the last row of the airplane. Like, it was just, I never traveled during spring break travel season. It just is what it is. It is a hectic time for everybody and just something I choose not to partake in. I know everybody travels during this time, but we actually made the flight. So here we are. We had our day to acclimate to everything and now we are up and at them. Today's itinerary is once I get ready, my husband's working out right now. He's going to do the sauna for a little bit and then we are going to drive over to, and I'm going to chop this up. All these names I'm totally chopping up. I don't live here. Cheltenham is it, do you pronounce the L in Cheltenham? Cheltenham? or Chettenham, Cheltenham, like a, a low key sounding, I don't know, either, either way, I've been trying to pronounce it forever. We are gonna actually head on over there, go to one of my all time favorite stores. I have yet to be at one of their boutiques. That is the Holland Cooper um, boutique. They have a bunch of equestrian riding gear. They have a bunch of cute clothes. I'm so excited. My, I'm just like, giddy my husband even knows so we are gonna go over there we actually have afternoon tea also booked at the once upon a tea room in um cheltenham as well i know it sounds so cringy when i say it if you're from england <laughs> you're, you're probably screaming through the screen right now <laughs> that's okay we'll learn but um yeah we had the tea room booked shopping just explore and then i'm debating on filming tomorrow maybe a little clip of tomorrow because tomorrow is actually going to be our spa day our relaxing day before we go home the following day we were originally going to stay till the 27th we the loads are looking a lot better for the 26th we said that we would just go home on the 26th because polaris is actually wide open as a non-rev back to a lot of the bases crossing our fingers <laughs> not gonna jinx it this time but so tomorrow might be a spa day i am gonna film everything today for y'all maybe add in a couple clips tomorrow we will see how i feel but i am so excited i need to get ready let's go let's see where the day takes us okay our little outfit of the day we have the river island jacket i just got what was it like a year maybe two years ago maybe a year ago river island in london and then it will tie at the waist very classy chic we have new york clothing company just a thin blazer not a full wand blazer just like a pretty thin fabric we have the zara shirt let me take off the jacket and i'll show you guys okay here we go so we have the new york clothing company blazer and then it stops basically right at the the quarter sleeve and then you can peek my zara top with the gold buttons going down it which is very cute i love a little little peep show when it comes to certain pieces then jeans i honestly forget where they're at boots michael by michael shannon it almost reminds me of tori birch with this symbol very cute we are doing our our blacks and our this almost reminds me of um what is it houndstooth but obviously it's not for ten dollars it's a very cheap like um fabric or what is what is this design tweed almost 
But yeah, I just like the design, but it's very, very thin, very cheap, breathable, moving. So it's not like a fancy kind of blazer. And yeah, we are gonna put our River Island jacket on top. And then I also have leather gloves I might wear because it is a chilly, chilly day today, but so sunny, we are so excited. So let's head out the door. Okay, so we just finished breakfast at Curious Cafe and Bistro here in, what is it called, honey? Oh, here in Cheltenham, I just blinked like, surely there for a second. Now we're going two miles down the road to Holly Cooper. I'm so excited, you guys. The and Turn then left onto Charlton Lane. Got our GPS going. And then we're gonna see, even though we made made reservations for later at the Once Upon a Tea Room, we're gonna see if we can hopefully get an old oh, look at the pepperonis. They're so cute. I'm not gonna show you one. But they're just cute. Oh. In a quarter mile, turn left onto Old Bath Road. Okay, I'm excited though. She didn't, we didn't even have to say we were buying anything. She immediately offered us up some champagne or Prosecco, whichever one it is. I couldn't tell to be honest, but like that kind of customer service you only get like when you go into Hermes, when you go into these big, big designer, like in the packaging here, y'all look at these bags in the back, like the packaging, they wrap up everything so nicely for you and you almost feel like you're in a designer store, but you're not paying the high-end pricing or anything like that and it's such good quality i'm i cannot rave about holland cooper enough like it's so amazing if you're visiting london i know they got a couple boutiques in excuse me the london area but their main one is out here in uh cheltenham cheltenham how do you pronounce it the cotswolds area and it was just amazing it was such a beautiful day to do it well it still is a beautiful day everybody was out having like a drink strolling shopping i'm just so so happy i want to do a little haul but i also don't want to unpackage it until we like fly home get on the plane and everything because it's just so pretty maybe i might wear something commuting on the plane to go home so we will see but i will show y'all as i'm unwrapping it kind of thing but we are about to fly this drone somewhere. We will see where you're trying to find a spot, kind of get an overview. And then we have afternoon tea here after a little bit. So let's see what we get into. <laughs> what we do we might just take it easier the rest of the night and call it a night i don't know i'll update y'all soon okay so i'm finally back in the room my husband's munching away so just disregard the noise we're hungry snacky mood but 
Here is the big bags from Holland Cooper. So excited. I know that when I watch people do unboxing videos, I'm like, but you didn't show us what you got. I have to see what you got. So I'm not gonna make y'all be curious. I will actually show you what I got. So the first thing is I've been eyeballing these. These are their, um, are these the Monaco sunglasses? I honestly forget which ones, or maybe the black ones were the Monaco's, but either way, I'll show you. And y'all, the packaging on this, so nice, so nice. So you open it up and then when you open the box, very, very nice packaging, especially for the price. These are the Sunnies. And then the sides right there say Holland Cooper. Very nice, different. I love, as you can tell, I love gold detailing. I love gold in general. Heck, my ring is rose gold. I was about to say hell, but watch the language. I want to take this back home. How nice. Is anybody else a packaging? Like, you got the nice Holland Cooper bow on it all and everything. Okay, but a couple of the things are in here. This baggie. Ooh. I always love a good unboxing video. So, and then they nicely wrap everything up. Got the Holland Cooper stickers. These are so nice. Even their tags. Like, tell me how fancy these tags are. So I basically got this sweater. This is the Varsity sweater. You have the Holland Cooper logo on the back. Very nice, very like leisure-like. So I was thinking this with, let me find it. Now I gotta get into the other bag. This with, this is more of a like a laid back look. I got the Holland Cooper Equestrian. Even though I'm not from Britain, I did like Holland Cooper Equestrian and then the British flag, cute, and then the tag. So I was gonna wear this like on laid back days, the hat, this, and then sneakers, which I was eyeballing their white trainers and they did not have them in my size, unfortunately. So we did not get the trainers. It was supposed to go with this whole look, but that's okay. So yeah, I showed you the sweater, showed you the hat, the sunglasses. And then the next thing that was basically the main thing I went for, everything else is just extra. This is the, well, I'm filming on my phone so I can't show you. But I thought this was so cute and I actually might wear this for commuting back to the States. Look at this blouse. This women's blouse is so cute. It has the logo, it says Holland Cooper, basically has like the crown on it. And I just love their packaging because they have this pretty crest and then they have their tags on the inside and stuff. Oh, and then they have the gold plate just on this blouse. How fancy is that? Oh. And then one of my favorite pieces, I forgot we could have stamps in this bag too. So, which one is this? My husband actually got two things. He did not go in and look for anything, but he definitely got two pieces. So those are his, which is so funny. They look absolutely amazing on him. Is this one mine? Nope, that's his as well. Oh, here is mine. Okay, so this is the fleece gilet. And I know that we're getting into our spring summer. This is if it's a little chilly at home. Got the cute Holland Cooper tag. And then when you open it up, tell me it, a gilet that has a pretty chain in, in their inside. Like a lot of their shirts have that chain. And it's so, just the detail. Detail, detail is everything. You have the HC on the back. It's nice and warm. I figured either this over the one blouse I just showed you or this, like, you know, going outside to do work, walking the dogs. Yes, you have the little Holland Cooper tag pockets and everything. Just laid back. Yeah, that is, that's basically our shopping haul. And then a bunch of snacks in the bag that we got earlier. So 
I've got a couple things from Holland Cooper. I didn't want to leave y'all hanging because like I said, I love a good unboxing video. And when people don't show me their stuff, I'm like, what did you get? <laughs> so that's that. Oh, also I got, forgot to show you right here on the collar, the Holland Cooper on the collar. But we are actually going to relax for a little bit. We did book our spa appointments tomorrow. I am getting the Elemis facial, which I'm super excited for because I love Elemis. Am I pronouncing it correctly? Elemis? Elemis? I, I'm pretty sure. I love all of their skincare. Um, some of the spas around here do the Elemis products, which I'm very, very excited. And it's such good quality. And I bought their stuff before as well. Their uh, cleansing balm, their pro collagen cleansing balm. I know they have it at Sephora and a bunch of different places, but there's certain spas that will use their products for the spa treatments. So I'm going to get a facial. My husband's going to get a massage. And then tomorrow's just a relaxing day. We're going to drive around town, basically see more of the countryside and the next day head back home we keep checking the loads because you know as a non-rev we only have to pay taxes going out of a country and it is looking wide open for polaris business class so we are crossing our fingers and we will see hopefully that we get polaris business class going home but i will update y'all we're just going to call it a night so far on this video and relax and then i will update y'all when we wake up tomorrow and go do our facial good morning again starting makeup list for the day and we have our very first cloudy gloomy day here in the countryside shocker i know that's mainly england in general but oh it's actually sprinkling on the river that's so pretty but we have had the past couple of days full of sunshine and it's been amazing i've been so excited so i'm not even upset about the the rainy gloomy day today it's honestly a vibe it's i kind of expected it coming in and then got a little treat with the sun so like i said we are makeup bliss because today our very last day here we are doing spa time so excited so i went ahead and booked the elemis spa treatment the facial the um brightening the brightening glow one i definitely need some hydration in my face and then my husband is getting the full body massage afterwards we're booked just like half hour apart from each other not too bad but i am about to head out the door and i just wanted to update you guys so there might not be much going on today so i'll figure out a point to uh in the vlog here soon, but yes, let's go get our facial. Well, a beautiful sunny day here in London again. Yesterday was our only rainy day, but good morning, everybody. I did not vlog much yesterday besides like showing little clips of the um, spa day and stuff and maybe a couple other things, but we are currently on our way to London Heathrow Airport because we are taking the 1205 London to Chicago and then the evening flight, hopefully Chicago to McGee Tyson, Knoxville, Tennessee. So it's going to be a longish travel day. That's all right. Um, so far, the flight is looking wide open in Polaris. Actually, today, all the bases, which we could have went through Dulles, we could have went through Chicago, Newark, that kind of stuff. But all the Stay bases, the right three lanes. all the bases are looking wide open for Polaris today. We're super, super happy, super excited. And it's a good day to go flying, knock on wood, that nothing happens. <laughs> We'll see. But yeah, we are going to do a little bit of duty-free shopping before we get to the plane and everything. But that's what our day is looking like today. It has been a fun trip, honestly. I'm so happy that we did this. Got to experience it. Got to experience the English country compared to our countryside in the USA. And yeah, it, it's beautiful. I have nothing nothing bad to say about it it is absolutely things are more orderly definitely over here for sure and that's what i love about it too but it was good it was good we are gonna get to london heathrow so let's go 